She said she didn't allow me. She said she didn't allow me. She lied. She lied. A big shout out to Warner Brothers for sponsoring this video. Yo, what's going on, everybody? We are on set for the movie Crazy Rich Asians Woo! right now. Man, if you guys didn't know, Crazy Rich Asians is based off of a very, very popular book, and this is the motion picture. I and don't know exactly what our involvement's gonna be. This whole video is just about us being on set. We wanna show you guys what a real Hollywood set is. Yes, this is filmed in Singapore, but this is a Hollywood movie. We got my man Wes Chan right Friends. here. Oh. I just know that I'm not crazy or rich enough to be in this movie, so it's an honor. Right. I hope this movie blow up crazy so they gotta do CRA2, CRA3. Yeah, yeah, like, I wonder how Western they keep kept the food. We should probably do a Fung Rose food over yeah, there. Yeah. Let's check it out right now. Fung Rose food, crafty services. Oh, here, pop the lid, pop the lid. Smoke salmon. Ooh, this is that something guac. you don't really see in Singapore. Nah, guac. That guac. Avocado. Who spilled my drink? <laughs> Already diva mode. Oh. Yeah, yeah. All right, it is now time for me to get fitted and get my hair done, and then eventually I will get my makeup done too. Get Wes. I'm halfway through right now. But. Okay. That's how you get volume. Right. You get the sticky gas beat. You push it forward, right, and then you go to the side, and then you just flip it up like that. Boom, boom. My man hooked it up. I got the satin blazer with the flowers on it. Let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> She said she didn't allow me. She said she didn't allow me. She lied. She lied. Alright, you guys, we are headed to set. Hi, I'm Haley. Hi, I'm Tasha. Hey, is remember that scene from uh, the Dark Knight where like the Joker's like this? Oh look, there's a big baby with a with a big penis. What the? Got him. Yo, take a look. So these are like they're like structures. It's supposed to look like trees. It's kind of like Alice in Wonderland, but in real life. So David has this standing interaction scene where he's standing up, he's supposed to like pass some glasses, right? He's clearly in the shot. Some other maybe assistant director replaces David with another guy. David sits down next to Wes, but then John M. Chu, the director, places that other guy back with David. So now David's back standing up. John M. Chu, he has last say. All right, guys, so uh, we just got selected to do some type of dancing scene here at the wedding. You know, they said, who's comfortable dancing? I said, <laughs> man, me and Richie, we got some moves back from elementary. We I do, know. we do, we do. So back in the day, Andrew and I used to uh, come up with dances yeah, yeah, yeah. and then perform them for our classroom in fifth grade. So <laughs> you know we about this. I'm a jerk. I might hit the jerk. I might hit the Millie Rock. The Millie Rock, okay. The jerk's kind of old, so actually I'm gonna hit the uh, right, the unforgettable dance. Oh, that's a good one, that's yeah. a good one. So, I learned this phrase because in my scene, I was sitting next to these two elderly Singaporean women. Jian Kuo Yi Dai. Jian Kuo Yi Dai. Jian Kuo Yi Dai. And that means building. So they built Singapore. What's going on guys? We are with here with the director of Crazy Rich Asians, John, John M. Chu. Chu. That's right, we're here in Singapore. Thank you guys for being here. Is it the first Asian American funded movie since Joy Luck Club? Uh, yes, absolutely. So 25, 25 years? It's been a long <laughs> time. What a do lot you think is the faces. one thing most yeah. people would be surprised about? I think they're gonna be surprised by our cast. Our cast is so first class and they've never been able to be shown in this way. They are the leads, the romantic leads, the comedic leads, they're the villains, they're all these different uh, walks of life and, and, and characters in this movie. You realize, oh shit, like we don't see it this often. Yeah. No, no. Like that. And I gotta shout you awesome. out for having, you know, the digital influencers, yeah. YouTubers on site. Yep. You guys are the future. That, that's, you, you know, our movie's not gonna solve 
every problem or be the end all be all Asian movie or something like that. It's it's really just to show it could be done once and crack that door a little bit so that you guys and everybody else can tell more stories, better stories. You can feel this generation is yeah. ready, ready than ever before. So what's going on? We are here with Henry Golding, the main star of CRA Crazy Rich Asians. How can you describe the experience up to this point? This has been a ridiculous adventure and it's and it's brought together an entire sort of pantheon of Asian actors from around the world who literally kill it on screen. And it's breaking boundaries. Breaking boundaries. For sure. It's uh, representing Asia in a, a totally different way that has never been seen on the silver screen. Right. Meant for um, a global audience, not exactly, just Asia. Exactly, that's what I mean. Yeah. You know, the vibe, the vibe really is, at the core of it, it's a love story. But the story is a journey from uh, sort of coming over from America for Rachel um, and finding not her roots but just a, a different Asia that she was expecting. What is your favorite scene? <laughs> I've got a fantastic scene with Michelle Yeoh who's a living legend uh, on on sort of from, from Asia to, to sort of uh, Western representation but she is Queen Bee on this set and uh, she is the classiest lady. It's for, for me that was special in its own. So to be able to share some time just personally one on one with her is, is amazing. I was born in Malaysia. Uh, I've spent like a good three quarters of my life in Asia. Uh, I represent more of my Asian side than, than, than possible. You know, there's, there's people without the identities. Are we not allowed to have sort of the identities of being Asian? Um, right, you know, right. the happers and things like that. Does it, you know, are you, are you more Asian because you live in Asia or are you more Asian because you're, you're, you're full-blooded? Right. How, where are the lines? We're just happy that Asia gets to be represented. And this is the biggest fight that we've been, you know, for, for bloody eons is to get something like this in the spotlight. But now the nitpicking starts. Yeah, yeah it's always yeah. it's always the case. But but I mean it's, it's a funny. good problem. It's, it's a good, good problem. It, it, exactly. It's funny. Cheers, guys. Thanks Cheers. for coming out. Oh, thank you. Henry thank Golden. You Henry. Peace. What's going on, everybody? I'm here with Jimmy O Yang. Yo. Yeah. So I actually auditioned originally for Colin, and I ended up uh, getting the role of Bernard Ty, the big in the movie. So th this crazy rich Asian movie, it, it, it's important in the Asian community, obviously. Uh -huh. But it's also getting a lot of actors in touch with their roots. Like I get to go back to Hong Kong after this. That's true. You know, my parents are coming out here. You know, they're That's gonna true. show me around Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. What is it like working with all other Asian actors? It's, it's cool. I feel like we don't talk about it. Like, oh man, hey guys, we're Asian. We're working together. <laughs> like that's not what's happening. But I mean, like um, deep down, there's a sense of like pride. Definitely, it's it's, it's great because there's all these like great looking Asian actors, actresses, mm -hmm. and then you know you got people like me who's not here for my looks. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> but just you see a full spectrum I mean, you, you look Asian, of Asian though. talent, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, that that's that that you are here for your looks. I'm actually. qualified. You I, I tried to do my part when I was an extra to try to be as funny as I could in the background. <laughs> I was doing this. What were you doing? The <laughs> I was like, I was dancing in the background. I tried to. Yeah, it was actually like added. It, it was a slow comedy. dance song, and this yeah. guy was like. I was like doing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. What's your uh, favorite scene in the movie? Last oh man, it's got to be the bachelor party scene. Um, this amazing set piece that we built just for this insane, richest, craziest bachelor party you can think of. Uh, and my character is the one that's forcing the other guys to go into. It's going to be really fun when you guys watch it. Yo, what's going on? We are here with Ronnie Cheng, one of the stars of CRA, Crazy Rich Asians. This was always the end goal. <laughs> and and we, I just stand, I was hoping they would make an all Asian movie set in Singapore. I'm glad they finally did it. My dreams came true and I can retire. So I'm playing uh, Eddie Cheng. Uh, he's a... Uh, uh, investment banker. He's very materialistic. Uh, he's the cousin of Nick, the main character, uh, trying to climb in society. Never happy what he has, even though he pretty much has everything. So pretty much you in real life. Me in real life, except even like lower, less ambitious, like yeah, lower class. class. Yeah, lower yeah. class. Yeah. Well, I think this is a real culturally significant movie. I think that it's very contemporary. Uh, the way we experience Asian culture is different to how we experienced it 20 years ago. So now we do experience it with a lot of wealth coming out of Asia. That's how the West interacts with Asia now. It's through these individuals who have a lot of wealth. And we see them everywhere. We see them on, in shops, in expensive uh, restaurants. We see them in, in colleges. A very contemporary, authentic story, I think. Yo, shout out to Ronnie Chang, man. I'm, I'm here with Mary Vogt, who was the costume designer for the entire CRA Crazy Rich Asians. What to you was the most intriguing aspect? The cast. You know, I love the. I met with John Chu, the director, and he's fantastic. He's so creative, so interesting. But and then when he started putting this cast together, they're just so fascinating. 
and each one of them is completely different. Mm -hmm. It's not just like one country. It is like there's a very global look to them. And then some of them speak with a very strong British accent. Right. So that gives it another whole flavor to it. So that was very interesting. Was it your idea to put the blonde wig on Aquafina? You know, I definitely wanted the blonde wig on somebody. Yeah. Was it interesting to play with all the different periods? And, oh, you have so many options, right? Right, and because John also, he likes the 60s, and so he liked to have a little bit of a 60s flavor in things, too. And then even, I don't know if you were here last night, we had like a little bit of a 20s feeling to some of the, some of the styles. He wanted it to be high fashion, but like 100 years from now, you would look at things and go, oh, that's really beautiful. What was your favorite outfit? I sort of love anything that Astrid wears. Gemma, because she's such a, she's such a sculpture herself, and, uh -huh. what, no matter, and it doesn't matter what she puts on, she just looks absolutely gorgeous. What was you thinking behind what I'm wearing? Okay. I like this on you. This is really nice. Yeah, this is this very is splashy. This is the splashiest blazer I ever put on in my life. So it's a tux. Oh, it's a tux. See, I didn't even know. What's going on, guys? We are here with Nelson Coates, the production designer for CRA Crazy Rich Asians. Nelson, what was your mindset going into this? Because the clips I saw are mind-blowing. I wanted to create something visually that has not been seen in a Western movie, something that catches uh, and is like a love letter, catches the flavor of, of everything that is Singapore, and multi-generational, multi-faceted food, flowers, spaces, textures, really wanted to take you on a journey. We started the movie in New York. We kept all the colors really bland and that sort of thing. And then once you get to Singapore, all of a sudden you start seeing the, the color and color, and that color just builds throughout the whole movie till it culminates in this crazy, crazy reception. The population from China that moved down into Singapore back in the day, a lot of people call them Peranakan. They developed kind of their own style that is a crazy combination of patterns and uh, ornamentation, and I wanted to have those textures and those patterns, and so we were recreating the tile, we were recreating the wallpapers. Then you have the next generation down, which is the, the parents of our main characters. They all have different tastes. All the cousins that are down at this level, it's all the modern, it's all the new, right, it's right. all that sort Western. of thing. So you would say if somebody's from Singapore, right, and they work at a history museum, they will be proud. I think they're going to flip out. Uh, Michelle Yeoh walked into the kitchen set, which was the first set of Tarsal Park that I'd done. And she looked and she goes, how did you know about the food? How did you know about the, the, the cooking bench? How did you know? And I was like, we have just been digging in. Uh, my team and I have just been making sure that, that every little piece of quay is just right. And every, every like uh, ice kitchen is just poured exactly correctly. Everything is done. It's a small movie, maybe only in like the budget but it's a big movie in its look and its spirit and the performances are off the hook. I couldn't be more excited about what John Chu and this whole team has done. Real quick guys, takeaways from this experience. And first um, of all, big shout out to John and yeah, shout out to Warner say, Brothers. I've, I've never had a, a big director be so gracious. That's, big John, director. John knows how to embrace the digital side of yeah, things yeah. for sure. And uh, just so much respect for the cast. Visually unbelievable. Hopefully you guys went out and supported this movie because it needs uh, it needs all the support, it deserves all the support that it can get. At the same time, this movie is not going to solve all the answers about Asians in the in entertainment industry. You know, don't don't put it up to that level. It's a good movie. It, it could be a nice kick on the door, no, though. No, for sure. It's good. It, and shout out to John M. Chu yeah. for making sure that we were in a favorable position. Thank you, John. John, the camera. John, let us walk the red carpet, man. Come on, man. <laughs> CRA. All right. Check it out. Watch it. So a huge thank you to Warner Brothers for bringing us out to the set of Crazy Rich Asians in Singapore. It was a really dope experience because we got to meet Henry, we met Jimmy, we met Ronnie, we met John M. Chu, and it was just so cool because these are a lot of guys that we keep up with to this day. I got high hopes for the movie. Hopefully it goes well. You guys check it out. Crazy Rich Asians by Warner Brothers.